In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages access 42 and 43, in which we're going to format a data sheet. A report is the primary access tool to create a professional printout, but you can print a data sheet as well. A data sheet allows you to apply some basic formatting modifications, such as changing the font size, font face, colors, and grid lines. In step one on page access 42, it tells us that in the navigation pane, we want to double click the customer's table to open it up. Now before applying the new formatting enhancements, we want to preview the default printout. And to do this, we go to step two, where it tells us that we want to click the file tab. Then we want to click on print. And then we want to click on print preview. Then we can click the header of the print pre, uh, of the print uh, printout on here to zoom in. And of course the preview window displays the layout of the printout. Now by default the printout of the data sheet contains the object name and the current date in the header. So we see there's the object name customers and there's the current date. And of course if we looked in the footer, if we scroll down a little bit, it tells us the page number that's in the footer. In step three, it tells us that we want to go down here and click on the next page button, and that moves us to the next page of the printout. So that we're, we see page two there. And of course, page two is just the second page of the customers where it has our phone and first contact that's on there. The last two fields print on the second page because the first is not wide enough to accommodate them. You decide to switch the report to landscape orientation so that all the fields print on one page then increase the size of the font before printing them to make the text easier to read. So what we want to do is, is that we want to click the landscape button on the print preview tab. So that is right up here, so we click on landscape. And of course now we notice that all this fits in on one page. And that switches the report to the landscape orientation. Once we do that, we can click on the close print preview and you return to the data sheet view where you can make the font face, font size, font color, grid line color, and background color choices. In step five, it tells us that we want to click the font list arrow. And of course, we notice that's in the text formatting group up here. And when we click on that, right now it's the Calvary detail. When we click on that, we want to change this to Times New Roman. And remember, once again, uh, as in any other uh, Office product, this is going to be alphabetically arranged, so you're going to have to scroll down a little bit to where you get to Times New Roman. Now, unlike in other programs, uh, this does not have the live preview. So you can choose either one of the two Times New Romans. Uh, the top one is fine on there, so when you click on that, notice that all the text has been changed uh, to the Times New Roman. Then next, you want to change the font size up here. So you click on the font size list arrow, which right now is 11. And we're going to click on 12, and we make that a little bit larger. Now with the larger font size applied, you need to resize some columns to accommodate the widest entry. So now we're going to use our mouse pointer, in which we can place our mouse pointer between the, co uh, the fields uh, on there, or the columns and we can double click the field separator uh, such as between street and city uh, on there and when we double click this you'll notice that it makes it a little bit wider on there and that is using what we call uh, the auto fit feature and that is very similar if you're used to um, Excel uh, that is the auto fit features whenever you put your uh, mouse pointer in between right on the uh, separator line between the different fields you double click and that will fit it to the uh, fit the field to the smallest uh, amount of uh, area so it fits in all the text so we uh, clicked in between the street and city field names and then we also want to double click the field separator between the phone and first contact because we notice that the phone right here we can't see all of it so we're going to double click right here as well and of course there we go we've double clicked that and that's made it wide enough so that we can see all of uh, the text that's there so you can just click somewhere else uh, to uh, deselect that and of course double clicking the field separator widens the columns as needed to display every entry in those fields 
Next, on step seven, it tells us that we want to click on the File tab again, and then click back on Print, go back to the Print Preview, and then of course we can uh, click the Preview to zoom in, or if it's already uh, uh, zoomed in you can just take a look through here and you can notice that now it's a little bit easier to read and you can zoom out to review the information now all the fields now fit across the page in the landscape orientation the preview of the printout is still two pages but with a larger font size it's easier to read and of course we can't help it being across two pages because there's lots of information that's there uh, uh, so you want to make sure that it's easy to read and of course, if you need a printout of this data sheet, you can click the print button on the print preview tab and then click OK. So if you need to do that, you can click on right here. Next, what we can do is, is that we're just going to go ahead and right click the customer's um, table tab. And we're going to click on close. We want to ask if we want um, changes to the layout of the customers. We want to click on yes. And then, of course, uh, we can click the close button on the title bar to close the Quest Travel B uh, database and to close Access 2013. And of course, it says that this uh, may empty the clipboard, and that is okay if you have that. So you can just click on yes, and that will close that out. Now you're ready to go ahead and upload your file onto Core Sites. Uh, remember uh, to upload your database onto Core Sites and you're ready to move on to your next assignment.